Hi, welcome to this video of IBM Spectrum Protect version 819. I'll be showing you how to install the secure web client that enables you to do file level restores. This web client was originally introduced in version 817 and it was replacement for the backup archive web client we had removed in version 812 due to security reasons. In 818, we added in the ability to restore to alternate locations as well as additional Linux and Windows support. And then in version 8.1.9, we've added in AIX support. The secure web client provides you the ability to securely interface with Spectrum Protect using the security protocols we've set up. And it also allows the help desk operator to perform file restore operations on behalf of an end user from a remote GUI so that they don't have to physically access the end user's machine in order to help with restores. It is supported on Windows, Linux, and AIX machines where the Spectrum Protect Backup Archive client is running, and the user interface will run in Chrome, Firefox, and Edge. It does require a Spectrum Protect server of version 8.1.2 or higher, or version 7.1.8 or higher. So let's go ahead and get started on how to install the secure web client. I'll be doing the install on a Windows machine. The installation code is part of your normal backup archive client install, whether you're doing the install on Windows, Linux, or AIX. Click on spinstall.exe to start the installation. And click OK. We'll go ahead and click Next. Now you do need to choose custom since this is a brand new install. If you already had a backup archive client installed, you would click modify to add in the file restore GUI. Next, you need to select to install both the client web server, which installs the web client, as well as the admin client command line which we'll use to communicate with the Spectrum Protect server and do things like register nodes and register node admins. Go ahead and click Next and then click Install. Once the installation is finished, you will see the URL that you can click on to access the web client. Go ahead and click on that and you will see this warning screen that your connection is not private. That's because we are just exchanging self-signed certificates. And then you will see the IBM Spectrum Protect file restore screen come up. If the screen does not come up immediately, go into your services and check to make sure that the IBM Spectrum Protect for BA client web server is up and running. If it's not running, you might need to restart it. Next, you need to edit your dsm.opt file. I'm assuming that you've already registered the node Praxis to the Spectrum Protect server. The one thing you do need to make sure of in the DSM op file is that the HTTP port is set. And since this is our first client on this machine, we'll set it to 1581. And this port is used to communicate between the web UI and the Spectrum Protect client. We'll go ahead and log on with the Spectrum Protect node admin that's already been set up and associated with this client and that node admin password. Notice that when you click this sign in, you will get this error that the CAD age is not running. The client acceptor daemon is not started automatically, so you will need to go into the services and go to the TSM client acceptor and go ahead and start that. Exit the services page and now re-log back in. And this time it'll go directly into your file level restore GUI. You can see the files that we've already backed up and that are eligible for restore. If you want to learn more about the restore options, check out my other video on using the file level restore GUI. Next, I'll create a second Spectrum Protect client running on this Windows server, and I'll have it connect to another Spectrum Protect server. So I'm just copying over my original option file into a new option file. I'm giving the client a new node name. I'm pointing to the new Spectrum Protect server, and I'm adding in a new HTTP port. In this case, it'll be 1582. 
I'll go ahead and save this second DSM op file. Now I'm going to bring up my admin command line, DSM ADMC, and I'm going to connect using that new option file to the second Spectrum Protect server. I'm going to log in with the Spectrum Protect system administrator, and now I'm going to do a register node for that new node on this new Spectrum Protect server. I'm going to go ahead and quit out of the administrator command line. And now I'm going to connect in with the client command line just so I can exchange certificates between this new client and the new Spectrum Protect server. So I will log on with DSMC pointing to the second option file. Once all the certificates have been exchanged and I can see that I've logged on successfully, I'll go ahead and quit out of there. Now what I need to do is set up a client acceptor daemon and a remote agent for this additional Spectrum Protect client. All of this is really well documented in our online documentation. So if you do need to check any of the commands, please do refer back to the online documentation. Using the DSMC util command, we'll install the client acceptor daemon. We need to give the CAD a name. We need to point to the new node we created as well as that node's password. Also, we need to list the option file for that node and the HTTP port that we'll be utilizing. So go ahead and enter that command. Once this client acceptor daemon has been created, we will then create a remote agent to link to the client acceptor daemon. With this command, we need to also use DSMC util We'll provide a name for the agent, the node name we want to link it to, the node's password, the node's option file, and then for the partner name, we'll give it the CAD service that we just created. So go ahead and enter this DSM util command. If you go back into the services, you'll see that in addition to the standard client acceptor, you'll see the new TSM CAD and TSM agent created specifically for this Praxis 2 client. Okay, we'll go ahead and access out of services. And now we need to go back to the DSM ADMC command line, and we need to register a node admin to be associated with this specific client. Log on to DSM ADMC with the Spectrum Protect System Admin. Issue a register admin with the name of the admin you want to be performing the restores and a password. So we're doing CM Help Desk. And then go ahead and do a grant authority to this CM Help Desk for the specific client you want to be able to do restores for. In this case, we're going to do Praxis 2. Now, if you go back to the Spectrum Protect File Restore GUI, you'll select the Praxis 2 server. Notice that from the dropdown, you had a choice of the two different clients that are running on this machine. And then you'll provide the admin node name and the admin password. Because we just created this client, we haven't backed up any files yet. Therefore, we will get this error that there are no backups found. So in summary, I've showed you how to set up the Spectrum Protect file level restore GUI on a Windows Spectrum Protect client. I also showed you how to add in a second Spectrum Protect client to an existing Windows machine and how to define that and work with that inside of the file level restore GUI. Thank you very much.